Let's do it one more time. Hey everyone, this is Jay Todd, and here's what's happening this week in gambling. I uh, I like how you color match there, the purple and the black. Yeah. It looks damn good. Thank you. So do you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> This Week in Gambling has been made possible by SBR Forum. Sports betting discussions and handicapping on all major sports leagues. Visit them at sbrforum.com. Hello, friends, and welcome once again to This Week in Gambling. I'm your host, Jay Todd, coming to you from our secret location at beautiful Tranquility Bay. We've got such a great show this week. I'm really excited about it. We're going to have a rant from everyone's favorite old bitty grandma. We've got news from Las Vegas and a brand new segment we like to call Dynamic Website Reviews with Dynamic Dan. But first, industry news. For the past two weeks, we've been talking about the anniversary of Black Friday, April 15th, was just a couple days ago and Full Tilt Poker, one of the companies affected by Black Friday, and how they still have yet to pay their obligations to their customers, even though they're apparently back in business and hiring new employees. Now comes word that two of the other affected companies on Black Friday, Absolute Poker and Ultimate Bet, may be near a deal with the U.S. Department of Justice that would allow players to get their money back or at least some of their money back. Of course, getting any of their money back would be a hell of a lot more than what Full Tilt has done, which, by the way, was named in another class action lawsuit this week. This suit also alleges that a Ponzi scheme was taking place at Full Tilt and names Poker Pro's Howard Lederer and Chris Ferguson as directors saying that they exercised unlawful control over players' funds. So happy Black Friday anniversary, fellas. And now for a brand new segment here at This Week in Gambling. Well, considering this is our third show, I guess it's pretty much all brand new segments. This one we're calling Dynamic Website Reviews with Dynamic Dan. Hey, I've been looking over a site called um, TheGamblingGurus.com, and I must say, it really rocked my world. We can see you're, uh, you're very excited about this particular review. Oh, you know it. So does it have information on games, news, promotions, that sort of stuff? Yep. Okay, well, um, that's awesome, Dynamic Dan. <clears throat> Is there anything you'd like to add at all to this roller coaster of a review you've provided for us? Uh, yes. Uh, they also have entertaining stories about high rollers, which gave me a good chuckle. For a few moments, anyway. Things got a bit crazy up in here. I'll, I'll bet it did. Uh, so that's The Gambling Gurus? TheGamblingGurus.com, Jay. All right. Thank you, Dynamic Dan, for that dynamic website review. We'll be back in just a moment. Like us. Then join the conversation on our Facebook page. Interact with show hosts and other viewers. Leave suggestions and topics for future programs. Visit facebook.com slash thisweekingambling.
all know that the race is on to see which state will be first to deliver regulated online poker in the United States. If you've been watching our show over the past couple of weeks, then you already know that Nevada claims they will have online poker live in the state this fall. Not far behind them, however, is New Jersey. There is a vote scheduled in that state for May 31st, and if things go well, huh, then New Jersey could be set for a fall launch of online gambling as well. We're going to be watching these stories pretty damn closely, and we'll give you updates as soon as we have them because it's exciting times. And if you'd like to read more on these stories and many other stories, you can always get over to our website at news.thisweekingambling.com. And while you're there, check out an article in our features section about Las Vegas possibly banning street performers. You know, with all the stuff going on in Sin City, council members think they can clean up their image by banning street performers? You know, I was going to go off on this story and really rip those council members a new one, but then I remembered. Who needs to rip someone a new one when you've got old bitty grandma to do it for you? Here she is with this week's rant on banning street performers. So the Las Vegas County Commissioners want to put street performers out of business. Hmm? And they think doing so will somehow improve the experience at Sin City. Have these guys actually walked the strip? You have people up and down Las Vegas Boulevard passing out flyers on how to get a hooker to your room in 30 minutes. And they want to clean up the city by punishing street performers? Why is the government's answer to everything always to outlaw it? Ban it? Shut it down? What's wrong with regulating them? Have them get a license? They are part of the Vegas experience, for crying out loud. Hey, county commissioners, you want to clean up Vegas? Don't go after the performers trying to make a living by entertaining your tourists. Try stopping the smut hustlers passing out porn to everyone that walks past. That's right. Hell yeah. You tell them, Granny. I'm so glad she's on our side. We'll see you next week, my friends. So you, sir, you're you're not Spider-Man. No. You're you're Venom. 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 Uh, Venom still shoots webs, though. Yes. You you shoot webs, and and they go. They should. I because I'm, I'm just wondering, as a man, if you've ever like you know had a problem with shooting your webs prematurely. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> it happens to us all, doesn't it? <laughs> Thanks for watching This Week in Gambling. We'll see you next week. The hot tub has been closed.